minority nurses are underrepresented. So we need to retain them in college so that they can graduate and contribute to the workforce. I'm gonna go ahead and check your vital signs. So the things that we see here in the ICU is a different variety of things from people's vital signs not being within normal limits or their labs being off or if they're having trouble breathing or if they just come back from surgery and they just need a little extra help to get them over the hump. Alex Rispris is an ICU nurse. While he considers it a dream job, it wasn't his first career choice. My dream job when I was little is to be an athlete, be a famous baseball player. The athletic career didn't really pan out. Eventually, Alex did land a job that paid well, but the hours were rough. So I was working at a concrete block plant. I did that for 13 years, working six, 12 hour days. My little girl was born and I decided I need something for the long haul. So I looked into college and um, started pursuing a nursing career. Now let's talk about crutches. Anyone want to demonstrate crutches? We have students that have never been in the hospital since they were born. So they come from other professions to us. Joyce Tolafari is a nursing professor at Austin Community College. She sees nurses starting their careers from many different points in life. These new nurses are filling a big gap because Texas is facing a massive nursing shortage. So sure that they are projecting that in 2030, we're going to have about 60,000 less nurses in Texas. There are different factors that are causing shortage of nurses. There's less faculty, so schools are turning away students or potential nurses. Alex was not turned away, but he still had to balance work, school, and being a parent. You had to stay focused on school and study hard, and at some times you felt like you're neglecting your child. Um, what I was told by others is don't feel like that because your child sees what you're doing. Visibility is huge, and it factors into the other big nursing shortage issue in Texas. People of color are grossly underrepresented in the medical field. A 2008 survey found that while roughly 60% of the country identifies as non-Hispanic white, more than 80% of registered nurses were non-Hispanic white. That means there is a big gap between the demographics of the country and the nurses that are helping them. So, like in Texas, African-American nurses are just 13% of the workforce, and Hispanics are about 7%. This is a problem. Tolafari says the workforce needs culturally competent nurses. That is, nurses from different backgrounds who can connect with and advocate for their patients. So there are lots of things that will go right. The patient will feel safe and feel comfortable talking or speaking the same language with the practitioner and enhance trust and, and build good, quick rapport with each other. Not having that trust and understanding can add to the health disparities many communities of color already face. Medical experts agree that having a diverse workforce is one of the ways to make sure there are better health outcomes for everyone. Hey, how you doing? Currently, I'm working on my Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Alex is well on his way to advancing his medical career. And while it might not be the career path he envisioned, he is living the dream. And he's helping his patients keep living their lives. My life has changed. I spend more time with my family. I go see my parents more often. I work three days a week. I'm not living paycheck to paycheck anymore.